this super tasty braised beef that has very easy prep will actually save you time. Anyone can do it. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, a home cook bringing you Simply Delicious food ideas. Happy Easter. We're making a Chinese braised beef today and it is a super simple recipe that you're just going to love. I am using beef finger meat today, and if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I love beef finger meat, but a lot of people can't seem to find it or know how to ask for it. Now, I have a package, and this is how it normally comes, and it's called beef finger meat. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, it is the long strips of meat in between the ribs of a cow. So that's why they call it finger meat, I guess, because it's long like a finger. And I like it because it is very marbled and it's less expensive than say a short rib. In Chinese restaurants, they often call it brisket, but I'm pretty sure they're using this and not actually beef brisket. I have uh, several similar recipes in my cookbook daily special that are a little bit more complicated. They have a little bit more ingredients, but we're going to super simplify it today. I'm going to take my three pounds of finger meat and I'm just gonna cut them into um, about one and a half inch pieces and they're gonna go straight into the pressure cooker. I'm not going to brown them, but you totally could if you had time to do that, because that will add extra flavor. I also gave these a rinse under cold water because of the packaging it came in. Um, there was a lot of residual blood and that sort of thing that I just wanted to get rid of. You can also blanch the meat first so that it's a cleaner taste. But again, we're just trying to get a dinner on the table kind of quickly because this is it's an easy prep even though it'll take some time to cook it doesn't take long to put it together all right I do trim off some of the fat so it's not super fatty but if you can't find finger meat you can use a short ribs or um, I would normally cut up like a chuck roast I don't generally buy beef stew meat in the supermarkets because I find that the pieces of meat are just basically the beef scraps, and you have no control over whether or not it's going to be soft and tender or hard and chewy. All right. it's a lot of meat, dude. Next, we're gonna make the sauce. Super easy, quarter cup of Shaoxing wine. If you don't have Shaoxing wine, you can just use regular rice wine. If you don't want to use wine, we have been known to use bourbon, but I don't think I wanna put a quarter cup of bourbon in here, so maybe use two tablespoons and then two tablespoons of soy sauce in place of the wine. We're also going to use two tablespoons of dark soy sauce and two tablespoons of regular soy sauce. Dark soy sauce gives it color and light soy sauce is a little bit more salty, so that's where we get some of that flavor from. And I'm just gonna pour this over the meat In my other recipes, I also sometimes will use star anise, cinnamon, bay leaves, um, chiho sauce. There's just a different variety of different things that you can put in there that will make it tasty, but we're just gonna keep it simple today. We're also going to add a tablespoon size of rock sugar. And according to my mom, rock sugar helps to tenderize meat. So I'm going to follow her instructions, but it also adds a little bit of um, sugar to help balance out the flavors. And I have a, well, I cut a thumb-sized piece of ginger. I'm just gonna smash it. It's for flavor, and I'm just gonna put that into the pot as well. All right, putting the lid on, locking it into place, ceiling knob on ceiling, and we're going to cook this on high pressure for 35 minutes. 
And if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can do this on the stovetop and let it braise for a couple hours, or you can use a slow cooker, just throw everything in the pot and cook it for six to eight hours. Remember how I said the recipe is super simple to put together and it will save you time because I went out and got a haircut and now I'm back. The pot has finished cooking. It's been sitting on keep warm for about 30 minutes and the Pressure doesn't need to be released because it's already all gone. Let's see what we've got. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to skim the fat and then I'm going to um, reduce the sauce and make it even tastier. There's quite a bit of fat in here. But we're not going to eat it, so we're going to scoop it out. To reduce the sauce, we're just going to turn the saute on and adjust it to more so that, you know, I'm impatient. So I want it to reduce as quickly as possible. And we're just going to let that come to a boil and reduce. If you didn't want to reduce the sauce, you can just, you know, eat it the way it is. You can use the broth, I guess essentially that's what it is, to put in soup noodles or even to eat with rice. It would still be really delicious, so you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. Right, it took about 15 minutes to reduce it to what it is now. And in that 15 minutes, I also washed some rice, I got my veggies ready to go, and this, the sauce turned into a syrupy kind of sauce that now covers all of the meat, which is exactly what I want. And I'm gonna to toss in some green onions. The heat is off and we're just gonna wilt the green onions in there. Let's scoop it into a bowl. The meat is super tender, almost falling apart. Are you all ready for the taste? Surprise, you get me today for the taste because this dude is sick, but I'm glad that he's still willing to film, but um, he's not gonna be able to do the taste with his taste buds the way they are. So I don't know if I will do it justice, but I will try. Take a piece, maybe one a little bit of fat. All right. Oh my goodness, it's so tender, so good. Really flavorful. And you wouldn't think that with just a few ingredients, but it is delicious. I'm gonna have it with some rice and some vegetables tonight. So this will be perfect. One more bite. Mmm, so good. You have to try it, guys. You'll find a similar recipes just like this one in my cookbook, Daily Special. Check it out.